Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty, and welcome back. And as you guys can see from the title, this video will be a prom dress review. If you guys don't know what a prom dress review is, basically I'm reviewing everything about this dress from top to bottom. Fabric, patterns, where to get it from, how to order, and the steps that were made to make this dress behind me, and just why I chose to create this dress behind me. If you guys are interested about this dress, stay tuned. Now with this dress, we're actually gonna start from the top, Work our way to the bottom, turn it around. I'm gonna show you guys the entire back of this dress. And let me just say, I love these colors together. Oh my God. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start on the sleeves. What you guys see here, this is the brown illusion mesh. I got my mesh from Fabric World USA. And on the sleeves, there are, these are not Swarovski crystals, but they're kind of like iridescent stones. I got my stones from High Trimming in the Garment District. If we go ahead and move over, as you guys can see, the centerpiece of this dress, this is a gold beaded lace applique. I got my applique, I think from Planet Rhinestones. Um, you guys know I love working with Planet Rhinestones. Um, there's only one store, but they do have Etsy, their own website, and they're very reliable. But you gotta get them because they run out of stuff very quickly. And another thing you guys do see, you guys do see orange and pink feathers now i got the regular feathers that come on a trim let me actually show you guys the trim so these were the feathers that i used to make this dress and to also make these feathers on this dress so the feathers come like this on a trim as you guys can see this is the bottom and these are the individual feathers i got my feathers from high trimming from the garment district i plucked a feather so it can be just like this i plucked one feather off and then I actually took the feather and I actually cut it. I used E6000 glue and I put a little bit on the smaller part, which is right here, and I placed it exactly where I wanted. And as you guys can see, there's orange and pink on top of each other. So I wanted to actually give like a carnival feel, but still very sexy and elegant. And again, I got my feathers from High Trimming, but you can order from Etsy, Amazon, Mood Fabrics, any other fabric store. They should definitely have these. As I move the camera in a little bit closer, you guys see that I also have um, stones on top of the individual feathers, just so that I can cover some of the tips, but also on some of them I did not. It gives the illusion that it's coming out of the dress, and I really do like that. And again, you can guys can use this as inspiration. You can use multiple colors. And no, on the other side, you do not see the glue. You only see the glue really on the other side a little bit, but not a lot. And if you really wanted to, you can get some Swarovski crystals and put them on top of every single feather. But there's really no need for that because it's not messy. You don't see the glue that much. And it looks great. And I love the fact that I actually placed it here. I placed it here. And again, the theme for this dress was carnival. All right, so as we move down to this portion, as you guys can see, it's very form-fitted. Your basic skirt pattern. In the darts is to actually smooth out and to, um, it's to hug your client's shape properly. Again, there's pink on this side and there's orange on this side. And the fabric that was used for this was spandex. I know it looks very clean. It looks very elegant. I don't know who said using spandex is not elegant, but it all depends on construction, skills, and the overall look of the garment. So I use spandex for this dress. Pink spandex and orange spandex. And this is also very shiny. So it kind of gives you like a silk feel. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the bottom of the front. Can you see me? Yeah. This is the bottom of the dress. Um, again, you guys know all basic patterns. So this top portion here, that just showed you guys this is your basic skirt pattern and again for the bottom this is your basic circle skirt pattern the only thing that i did was divided it in half that's why there's half and half so this is super dope i love this dress and it might be actually one of my favorite dresses this season because the color is so vibrant it's different um it catches your attention and i love the fact that it's very silky um a tip that I also like to do when you guys are doing things like this, um, what I use for the inside, this is Surge Together. It's Surge Together, and the colors that I use for the serger, it was orange, pink, neon pink, and it gives you a, like a bright Easter, you know, feel. And again, on the bottom, as you guys can see, there is white horse hair. Yes, I could have used pink horse hair or orange horse hair, but a tip is that a tip that I'm giving you is that when you guys actually use um, colored horse hair, it's very thin. So it tends to pop more. So I only really use two colors, which is white 
and black. When I use light colors like this, as orange and pink, I use white. If it was like a royal blue and an orange, I would have used maybe black. So that's for the front of the dress. And I'm going to go ahead and turn her around and show you guys the back of the dress. Oh, I can get up. this dress it's so pretty it's very dramatic and again it's giving me carnival vibes you know all right so for the back you guys know there's only one pattern to use which is your basic circle skirt I did nothing different is there a seam at the knee yes there's a seam at the knee as a fashion designer you can use a seam you cannot use a seam that's what I like to do there's no wrong way and there's no right way if you want to do a gown without a seam Great. If you want to do it with the seam, great as well. Don't let no one tell you different. You are your own fashion designer and you do things your way. All right, y'all, I'm back. I had to go downstairs because my building was giving out free food from Fresh Direct. Like, I got a phone call from my mom. She was like, come downstairs. They're giving out free boxes of food. I was like, free food? I'll take it. Here, there is a pink zipper. I like using the color zippers that matches my garment. To me, it's just... Um, it gives it a little bit more of uh, personality, you know, and yeah. I don't know if you guys can see from the video, but there are stones going all the way down the train until the bottom of the hem. It's very important that you guys do little small things, little details, because your dress can look great from the front, but it also has to be amazing from the back. And every angle is a different picture, and every angle that somebody stands around the dress, you want to see different things. So from the back, here's the zipper, there are the stones going straight down. Again, the color uh, catches your attention. And as you guys can see on the back of this, there are some beaded um, trims here with also some of the uh, feathers, which is orange and pink. And there are also some stones. And the entire back is mesh. So some of the questions you guys may have about this dress is the inspiration. The inspiration came from Carnival, you know? Carnival, West Indian, all that good stuff. It came from Carnival. Number two, she said, I want to go viral. I said, okay, so what's more viral than doing two contrast colors? Um, another cute thing about this dress is the train. It's a very dramatic train. If you guys want to know the measurements to this train or any dramatic train, um, for me, center front is 30, side seams is 35, and center back is at least 45, 55, or whatever length you want to go beyond that. Because a train can be as long as you want it to be because it's your creation. How many yards did I use to create this dress behind me? I think I used a total of four yards of the pink and four yards of the orange. Only because, you know, you have the one side, then the one side, then you have the front to the side seam, and then the side seam to the back. So I wanted enough yardage to make that circle look for the train. Um, and I also made a little hand purse. And I also made a little clutch for her prom. She takes pictures with the purse. This is so cute. This is something very simple. And something like this sets you aside from any other fashion designer, you know? Don't allow, I mean, you can if they want to buy their own um, accessories, like earrings and stuff like that. But she was like, can I get a custom purse? I was like, listen, girl, we can do a custom purse. It's not nothing fancy because half the time, the only one that's gonna match their dress. And she can definitely wear this again, you know? Here's the purse, it's real cute. It's a drawstring bag. It's a wristlet purse, it's a wristlet. Only for her lipstick, her lip gloss, her cell phone, and her charger, like that's it. Take pictures, see, and it matches the dress. Creating this dress was so much fun. I really enjoyed the colors, I enjoyed the feathers, I enjoyed how dramatic this is, and I definitely enjoy um, the statement this dress makes. Once again, if you have any questions about this dress in particular, where I got my fabrics from, um, exactly what color this is, I got these fabrics specifically from Spandex World in the Garment District, sorry. Um, they do ship. During this pandemic, I'm unsure on how long it will take for the fabric to be shipped. Um, my mesh, Fabric World USA. Like I said, if you have any questions about this dress, fabrics, cost, Leave it below in the comments. I try to get, um, I try to answer you guys' questions as fast as I can. But those of you who are interested in getting something custom made for me, I know a lot of you guys leave things in the comments, or I know a lot of you guys leave things and leave comments in my story. 
I can't answer, I mean, I can't answer the questions in my store. I just choose not to. But again, all of my information is below in the description. My email address, my Snapchat, my Instagram, my TikTok, everything is below if you guys want to get in contact with me. So please don't leave comments like I've, please reply back, like contact me. If you, really, if you guys really want to get in contact with me, Instagram, Snapchat, email, Facebook, all that good stuff. You guys can find me anywhere. So if you guys have any questions, leave it below in the comments. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and TikTok. And that's it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time.